Today is our final day on our 72 hour houseboat swamp challenge. Smoked him! Smoked him! Smoked him, son! Boy, look at this setup. We are in the middle of the swamp once again. I mean, seriously, we've got some river on this side, but back here makes me feel like I'm back in the Amazon jungle. If you have followed along our houseboat swamp challenge, day one, we tried our best to get catfish and we ended up having to settle for some bass Bassetizers that we made. Day two, we had a bluegill as our specialty and we turned it into egg rolls and blueritos, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta watch that one. And today, the final day, we have been chasing this species throughout this challenge. It's been elusive, but today is the day we're going after swamp catfish. That's right, the old kitty cat is on the menu and it's gonna get catched, cleaned, and cooked in the catch cook cabin. And cheers to the lily pads this morning. All right, we are officially ready for our day three, final day, catch, clean, and cook mission. For the past two days, catfish have just completely avoided us. They bobbed and weave every hook we put out, and we have tried to catch catfish every single day. Well, today is our last day, and we have set up the ultimate catfish catching rig on the old jet boat. We got a bounty on those catfish, and if we don't catch them today, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not staying another night in the swamp. <laughs> well, we got the same deal. We got live scope, just in case we can, you know, live scope catfish, that'd be cool. We've got our catfishing setups here. We've got our three different baits right here. We've got our shrimp, red worms, and the big old fat night crawlers. Now, being that catfishing is just a sit and wait deal, and it's 100 degrees, and we've got the dog, we decided we got to keep it a little bit cool. So we've got the Bimini top up, but most importantly, we like to get a little bougie out here. So we got our battery box connected to a big old fan, brother. <laughs> That's going to be real nice right there. So honestly, we really have it for reef. So he's not just freaking boiling and then we'll just douse him with water. But at the end of the day, we should be right back in this cabin, catch clean and cooking us up some big old catfish. At least that's the hope because we're going all the way hard today. We're not going after any other species. It's catfish or no fish at all. give you a heads up we're in a foot and a half and then out there you have a nice drop off there's a ton of bait everywhere oh dude you just ate that yeah they're good they're cooked oh no oh no i'm thinking a couple on the hook huh another one of them ew bro stop eating the bait that's the grossest thing i've ever seen oh i'm thinking this is it dude little shrimp cocktail for the old kitty cats. I mean. Oh boy. Sh the, the shrimp has been sent. The shrimp has been sent, boys.
Dude, we're gonna catch something here. It's insane looking on the graph. Shrimp smells horrendous. It ought to do the freaking trick. We're not even gonna go far. I'm just gonna go right here. We're we're in we're in some stuff now. We are in some stuff now. I like this spot a lot. The bottom is insane. There's freaking bass blowing up on top in 20 foot of water. Oh, I got a fish. Got one. Yep, got one. Oh, it's a good bass too. Good bass. Good bass. I got one. There we go. Reeve, your dad did it, man. You. Oh my god! <laughs> Reef with the backflip on him, son. Reef with the old backflip. Well, we got us a bridge bass. One more reef tax. Alright, buddy, go tell the kitty cats down there. We need some. Alright. Give me some, Reef. Woo! Three days we're out here. Caught fish every day. That is success to me. But these catfish, man, they're so freaking elusive. Punched her on in. That was cool, huh? <laughs> that was yeah. interesting, Rod. Well, we freaking punched her on back here, and uh, we are at a really cool spot right now. There's actually some pipes that come out uh, from a canal on the other side, and there's water actually rushing through those pipes and flowing through here all the way through a river, which surprisingly enough, our houseboat is about half a mile away in a big patch of lily pads right now. And we are trying our darndest to catch a catfish, man. We have been all over the place. It doesn't look like it's gonna go in our favor, but at least we can say we freaking tried because we've been all over the freaking rivers, the deep water, the lakes, the bridges. And this might be our last hope, man. We're just trying to get a catfish. <music> Nothing, dude. Nothing. Look, there's a school of tilapia right there. A whole school of them. Come on, there's tilapia back here. We need to go grab our bows. We could. Finish out the video we like that. We really could. He's like, I'm not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we have ourselves a new plan. So on the way in, unfortunately, we didn't catch any catfish, but on the way in, we saw a bunch of tilapia ripping through the pads. Now, we're freaking full sending it here. We gotta end day two with something, or we gotta end day three with something good. So we're thinking we spend an hour on the deck of the boat and we can't spend too much time because when we got to load the boat today and two my dog is just exhausted so we can't be out there too long but if we can snipe a tilapia then we should be completely set for a successful day three we did catch a bass but that doesn't really count here we go all right so there's two things that are good news one so we all got our bows, even though we didn't really plan to bow fish. And two is we're gonna be bow fishing right outside the houseboat. The fillets are just swimming right out the window. It's archery season, baby. <laughs> Smoke him, son! Watch out, watch out! Free, free, free. 
Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> first shot, first kill. Day three is survival swamp challenge. Officially complete, baby. That was a nice snapshot. Thank you, dog. Bro. Thank you, dog. Woo. Reef, we gotta pay the taxes to the old Reef, boy. You like them tilapia tails, huh? Your dad's a one shot, one kill kind of guy, cuz. Oh. On a side note, what you guys don't know is uh, we thought we were leaving empty handed 100%. When we said we were going bow fishing, we were not confident at all. Got him. Got him, son. Oh, that's a big one, too. That's a big one. That's a big one. Let's go! Let's go! Pay the reef test! Reefing! Yeah! Let's go! We got swamp survival! Looks like we're eating tilapia tonight, baby. Oh! Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god, he got it! That might be the most disgusting. This is gonna be. Oh god. Don't let Reef lick that. Oh god. Got one! Oh man. Well, you're. Oh yeah, he almost got you, son! Woo! You're gonna be eating that one, dude. I don't know about all that. Yeah, I'll take it. A little bit, <laughs> of, a little bit of armored nugget. That's the most swamp fish you could possibly get right there, but. The only other thing I've seen eat them is vultures. Yeah, dude, they're ain't much meat. They're pretty much just arm armor. <laughs> that's like, that's like eating the fish version of a Brinks truck right there. Should have known that the swamp was gonna give us one more storm. We're heading into the houseboat right now, but at least we got some meat in the boat. It's been a struggle all day long, and uh, looks like we're gonna have some tilapia and a big thunderstorm sandwich for this evening. It's gonna be a rough one. It's coming in fast. hunger down because it's coming we got Corey laid up buddy we got BJ laid up we got reef reef looks like a goddamn warrior man you got tilapia blood all on your face buddy what's going on here you got blood all on your right shoulder do I have I have blood all on me oh I do got some blood on me swamp warriors man so anyway it's uh time to just kind of sit wait it out because uh, this one this one's gonna be a doozy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> pretty intense thank god we have this tree block here but that's about it man because it's coming from right in that opening it's bad it's bad you don't even know man you're just hanging out you're like i just enjoyed ac i wouldn't say yeah it's a wild one. 
<laughs> it's like this side's not even getting wet. It's blowing from that side so hard. This side's not even getting any rain drops. made the fillets a little bit smaller just because I pulled all of the bloodline which is like the red vein that goes through so I got pure white fillets so tilapia can be a little muddy so make sure to get out your red bloodline follow your fish let's cook them up Them sit there do their thing for a bit and then uh, I actually went ahead and got all this set up so we've got Hawaiian rolls over here we've got all cheese on them we've got tartar sauce French red hot and then of course ranch all set up so each of us can have three sandwiches and they're all gonna be a little bit different the first 24 hours we had a bass that we turned into bassetizers 48 hour mark we turned whole bluegill into blue Ritos with nacho cheese Doritos and blue swamp inspired egg rolls and now at the 72 hour mark we have bow fished some tilapia and turned them into some tilapia tip tip tiblets tilapia tad tiny tilapia sandwiches tadpole sandwiches T um lily pad um oh slider swamp and now at the 72 hour mark, we have tilapia swamp sliders. So that is our 72 hours completed. We've got ranch on these three, Frank's Red Hot on these three, and then tartar sauce on these three, all with some cheese and nice Hawaiian rolls. So ladies and gentlemen, this dish completes our 72 hour swamp houseboat challenge. Cheers to 72 hours. Swamp never tastes so good. <laughs> I'm freaking going swamp crazy, man. What, what do they say? That cabin fever where you're just glad to be like back on the ground? Oh my goodness, we did it. 72 hours on the houseboat. We completed the challenge. It wasn't really a survival challenge. It was more of a catch, clean, and cook challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought at the very end we were going to have a dud. And then we came in clutch with the bowfish and we just happened to run across those tilapia. We were chasing catfish all freaking day long. But this past three days has been an absolute blast. I've had so much fun. I think Reef enjoyed it more than all of us and I'll make a deal with you. If you like this series, you show it some love, then me and the Nautical Bros and Reef will go out on a seven day challenge where, I don't know, I think we take this big girl down to the Keys. My favorite part of the trip was the layup. BJ winged out there and hooked into that little baby bluegill and was like, oh no, I lost him. And I was like, boop, hog. <laughs> oh, the big bluegill. All oh, right, yeah. the big bluegill. All right, BJ, favorite part of the trip? Favorite part of the trip was cooking and eating the food and then sitting around and getting some sleep while it rained. That was actually Ooh, really nice. I know, Ice I know. Ice cold air on the water <laughs> kills it. A lot of great moments. Hard to pinpoint an absolute favorite. I've got to say the sunsets were to die for they were awesome but i do think encountering the storms were kind of my favorite just because it was kind of scary but we were sheltered and i don't know it's just exciting what else did i say earlier what were my favorites 
Oh, 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 yeah. Almost forgot, almost forgot. One of the favorites, I think for all of us, just because it's a cool like life experience, was, I think it was night one. Yeah, it was, no, it was night, night one. Night one? It was yeah, night see night. how confusing it is when you're out there for three days, you don't even know what's what <laughs> anymore. But there was a night, it could have been night one or night two, but we saw a SpaceX rocket launch from the Catch and Cook cabin, and it was freaking cool. Just lit up the night sky, just Elon doing his thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap it up for the old Catch Clean Cook cabin. She did her job, we ate good, and now we're gonna go back to our homes and park this thing in my backyard. <laughs> But the past three days, we've come up with some really cool ideas for renovation. So, so if you got some ideas that you think can make the Catch Clean Cook Cabin even greater than it already is, let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, that is going to wrap up this 72-hour Swamp House Boat Series. Catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, I forgot to give you a kiss. Mwah!